we're doing these sad looking marker lights that are on here and we're going to be replacing them with these much cooler looking ones right here that's nice Hey guys, it's Chris from Tiny Industrial and I'm back on the lovely roof of my RV and we have five marker lights up here. These marker lights are very lame. They are filled with water. Uh, we're going to remove these, these existing ones. Then we're gonna clean the surface, much like we did with the vent video that we did. If you haven't seen that particular video, check it out up here. Since everything's basically pre-wired, it's just basically a swap out and then we're gonna seal the, uh, seal the new lights in place. And um, we're gonna clean the surface off and then we're gonna put the new ones in. Very few tools are gonna be needed for this. So let me head back down and then we're gonna kick this thing off. All right, so in terms of equipment that we're gonna need, we're gonna need a screwdriver to take the screws out of the old ones. Uh, we're going to need a wire cutter most likely. I don't know how those wires are connected. We're going to need a scraper to clean off the area and then we're going to need some silicone uh, to uh, reseal and put the new ones in. And you can see that these things have clearly reached their uh, usable sell-by date. And we um, got another one over there. And then you got this sad little thing over here. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. And what we're going to replace them with, I think there's 16 LEDs in there. They have a much bigger footprint. All right, so this is a little bit of a tricky spot here. Uh, these look like they're attached with one lonely, rusty screw. Okay, this one looks like the first one that's officially gonna come out. Wow, it's a very, it's a very short screw. It could be that these are just simply siliconed and kind of glued and stuck in place. And the screw, yeah, there you go. The screw, ah, now we're getting somewhere. The screw holds the cap on. And once you take the cap off, you see all the rotten decay in there. But um, there's another screw or set of screws. It looks like that. There's a screw there. And underneath where the bulb was, there's another screw. Once you take one of them apart, you're better equipped to uh, do the other ones when you kind of get how it all kind of works together. All right, that just felt like the screw just snapped in half. Yeah, it did. There's a little bitty piece of it. That one just completely snapped off as well. Now, there should be nothing holding this in place anymore. So let's go at it with a putty knife. There we go. I mean, these are clearly the factory ones. What we'll do is we'll cut it when we're ready to put the new one in and we'll reconnect the, uh, the new one right away. Because if I cut this wire, I run the risk of losing that wire into this dome cap thing. And you don't want any of this schmutz on here. It'll prevent you from getting a good seal on the new unit. I'm all for doing like little repairs like this because I think in aggregate it makes for a better looking RV. And plus, you know, these things are kind of like safety items. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing with the remaining four. Well, all right, they're all out at this point. That was a little wimpy one over there. Probably a tree branch or something took that one out. That was the one on the left. That's the dead center one, that we, one we did first together. And that one's there. And you got one over there. So they all came out pretty easily. The screws were uh, not in great shape. And then if you look at this pile of garbage right here, rubbish as they say in the UK, you'll see that these were really due for uh, replacement. The old incandescent bulbs going with the newfangled LEDs and again the screws and you know this is a this is a prime spot where where water can infiltrate the RV so one thing I am going to do is uh, just get a uh, some rags and some degreaser 
and just wipe these areas down some more. There's a lot of debris that came up off of here. There's a little bit of sort of grime left on there. I'm gonna to try to clean that up a little bit more. All right, so as is often the case, things are always a little bit trickier than they maybe at first appear to be. I realized that I'm not gonna get the screws uh, into the fiberglass without a, a drill. And the other part is the screws that come with the new lights are not self-tapping, but that way I can just drive these in with a standard Phillips head uh, bit right there. The other thing is the lights come with these little plastic clamps that clamp over the wires and make the connection that way. I got some more of these twist on wire connectors in the proper size. I've got so add this piece to the collection of tools that I showed you earlier. And you know, throwing these good for good measure. Hey, if you are uh, new to my channel, I do a lot of these types of videos, uh, RVs, tiny houses, you know, they're how to videos for the most part. Hit the like button. That does, that does me a lot of good because that tells YouTube that uh, this, this content is worthwhile. And let's get back to this project. I've got some of this here. Uh, what's it called? Greased lightning. It is a uh, super strength cleaner and degreaser. We're ready to, to connect that first one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our trusty wire snips. Now these lights obviously aren't on right now. Not that it would electrocute us. Sometimes people ask that question. Why, how do you not get electrocuted? Well, this is just 12 volt. I'm not gonna kill you. So we're gonna strip these as and where they are. But, okay, there we go. We got two wires. We got two wires on the light that we're installing. Red to black. There it is. Pretty cool. Look at that. That's nice. Alrighty, so that one's hooked up. We know it works. So let's put this one into position and then we're just gonna drive the screws home and uh, bolt it down. I'm gonna put some silicone on here. Yeah, you know, just to make sure that that kind of becomes a barrier. What we really wanna make sure is that we don't get a wire stuck under there or something. Now we're gonna line it up with where the original was. Now we're just gonna run a screw into the front and back of it. So let's do this back one first. Oh yeah, that forms a really good seal. That is really solidly on there. I think it looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna repeat this four more times and then we'll come back and we'll do a final recap and see where we are. All right, that's it. Here's the view from up top. Three in the middle, one over there. We got all uh, five lights in. Mounted and ready to go. Let's see what it looks like from downstairs. All right, so, and there you have it. New marker lights at the top of the RV. Beautiful new LE smoked LEDs. And I think they look friggin' amazing when you're, when you're dead on. There we go, I'll hone in on these suckers a little bit in the video here. Drop some comments below if you want. The lights are in the description below, a link to those. And uh, yeah, check out some of my other videos. I'm doing all kinds of things to this RV. It's gonna be completely remodeled from the outside in or the inside out, whichever you wanna view it as, but I'm not sure what the next project is gonna be, but check out the rest of my content. Give this a big thumbs up and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. This is Chris from Tiny Industrial. Bye-bye.